Hi, I'm Terry B., the lead vocalist of My Ruin, and you're watching Metal Hammer TV. What was the first tattoo that you had done? Uh, the first tattoo I had done was the back of my neck. It's a script, and it says the word baby doll on it. And um, I got it after I left a very abusive relationship for many years. It was kind of my F you <laughs> to the person, and uh, my own personal meaning behind it. So, you know. And how old were you when you had that one done? I was in my early 30s. I waited for a very long time. I think a lot of people tend to get tattoos really young now and regret them later on, you know. I always try to tell girls, be really smart about what you want to get on your body because it's your body and uh, it's going to stay with you forever. So I'm kind of glad or I might have ended up with some crazy tattoo that I'd be looking at now going, what the hell? Do you, was it sort of strange waiting that long? Was it something you'd always wanted to do? No, it really wasn't. It was, um, you know, a lot of my friends were tattooed. Every, it, you know, now it's become a really big trend to have tattoos and for me you know a lot of people would always say to me why don't you get a dump and I was like yeah I'm just not really feeling it you know I wasn't feeling it and then one day when something happened in my life that gave me a reason to do it I felt <clears throat> you know it was a release for me I went and did it on spur of the moment and said you know what I, I need to do this for me and I did it I don't get a lot of tattoos I'm not covered I used to have a bass player in the band actually who did the same piece I'm doing now a few years back had like 60 tattoos and many of them were meaningless and just things she got when she was drunk and you know I didn't really understand that I'm like you know it's part of your body it's part of your you know soul I think getting a tattoo it's very spiritual it's very you know personal and I don't just get meaningless things on my body everything has a meaning you know I think that's the way it should be when you're an artist you know so that was Megan that had the tattoos? Yeah, we don't speak of her. <laughs> the girl we don't speak of. <laughs> so what, what's your favorite tattoo? My favorite tattoo is actually my recent tattoo. It's, I haven't had one for a while. And um, it, uh, it's on my forearm. You'll probably see a picture of it here in this. And uh, it says, Blasphemous Girl. I know I'm going to burn in hell for this tattoo. But uh, I got it because... Um, I was in a car accident about a year ago, and uh, I nearly had my left arm ripped off. And I have a pretty large scar. Um, actually, that was photographed as well yesterday. And um, the scar wraps around my arm and um, on the top and on the bottom. And I had a skin graft. And I'm kind of one of those people where I have to be even. Like I have my wrist tattoos, my upper arm tattoos, and if I didn't have one thing, I felt unbalanced. It was a kind of a strange thing. So, um, you know, I felt like I needed something here, and it was just something that I have a clothing line I do. I deconstructed clothing line and um, Blasphemous Girl Designs. It's kind of my little tag and my little trademark. And um, I just felt like doing it one day, and I had it in a script put here, and it kind of goes with this and represents who I am, you know? So talking about the scar that you've been left with, the car accident, were you not tempted to tattoo over that? Well, I mean, honestly, you know, my, my arm is very numb, and I'm just now starting to get the nerves back. They said it comes back through time. I mean, it took me a long time to even move my hand. I couldn't even, for a long time, I was a claw for a while. When, I was, when you see the DVD on the album, you'll see I was recording, and I still had it in a claw for half of it. And um, it, uh, they told me I could eventually tattoo over it, but right now I don't think I could really do that. I don't, even though it's numb. It's kind of a frightening feeling. I don't know. I mean, maybe one day I'll get something over it. But, you know, I've kind of talked about scars my whole life, you know. I sing about them. I write about them. They're always internal scars. You know, they're not really literal on the outside. And all of a sudden I have a really literal huge scar. And it's like, it's my war wound, you know. I don't know that I want to tattoo it right now. I don't know that I ever will, you know. Which tattoo is it actually uh, gone across? It No, it didn't. It's... it. I have a tattoo up here, but it missed it. It, went, um, it hasn't touched a tattoo yet. What about the large piece on your back? What's all that about? Um, the large piece on my back is actually praying hands with a banner that says a prayer under pressure. It, it was kind of got, um, when I recorded the prayer under pressure record back in 2000 with Mick, that was um, 
Mick is my guitarist and my boyfriend of eight years. Um, he was kind of got representing us, you know, our relationship and our first working together. And I'm very into religious imagery. I have a Virgin Mary on my right arm with the word truth. And um, on my left arm, I have a pinup girl on a burning cross and a sacred heart. And, you know, I, I'm not a religious person, per se, but I'm, uh, I'm very drawn. I've always been drawn to the religious aesthetics and, you know, the Bible. I, I feel like the Bible is an incredible book of, of stories, whether true or false, you know, who knows. But it's true as interesting and uh, inspiring to read, and as a lyricist, I draw a lot from that, you know. I just feel, you know, I feel very uh, kind of comforted by religious imagery and also frightened by it at the same time, so there's a good juxtaposition there. I heard a rumor that it was actually an ex of yours that got you into religious tattooing, or do we not talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I had an ex-boyfriend for a while that, uh, yeah, uh, I had an ex-boyfriend for a while, that's funny. Um, I went out with someone for a while, and we had a couple tattoos that kind of <clears throat> for each other in, in certain ways. I had the word truth. He had the word honesty. and um, He got me into a lot of religious imagery, you know, kind of introduced me to a lot of things. I toured with him and his band for a while and uh, in my old band, Manhole. And, um, you know, he was a great writer. And, you know, I think you meet, everyone you meet in this life inspires you, whether they stay in your life or not. And, um, you know, big inspiration, you know. How long did that piece on your back actually take, and was it painful? Actually, no. You know what? It was not painful. It was a couple hours, and my arms took about nine hours a piece. And the funniest thing was, these are my least painful tattoos. I have my stomach done with script. It's very small. It says La Dolce Vita and The Sweet Life in Italian. And actually, that was the worst tattoo I've ever got. <laughs> it felt like I was having a baby, and I was like, oh, my God. You know, so... Definitely that was, I pray for rock on my lower back. And that was kind of, I think it's just around, the, you know, the stomach area for women is probably not the most, you know, resilient area. So, uh, you know, the arms you can flex and be kind of tough when you're getting it, so it feels better. But, um, yeah, those, those are the most painful. Well, how do you feel about people getting tattoos that are the same as yours? Well, we have a lot of, um, when you go to our MySpace page, we have... I post a lot of photos up there of people that do my room inspired tattoos with our band logo or some of our art or lyrics. And I think those are great, you know. And they always write me like, I'm getting this tattoo because of this or this lyric meant this. But then there are those who write me and say, right, I went out and got your tattoo and here's a picture. And it's like, I don't really know what to say to that because on one hand, it's like, okay, it's kind of flattering. But on the other hand, it's like, honey, get your own tattoo. Be your own person. I could never get someone else's tattoo. It's kind of like stealing their soul. I had the weirdest thing that ever happened to me was way back when I was in Tristatana, we were playing um, in San Antonio, and this girl came to interview us. This is a true story. And she sat down with me. She had no tattoos. We talked, and I have this on videotape as well. And she said, what's the weirdest thing, one thing that freaks you out? And I said, when a fan gets a tattoo of me. It was, I said, I went to England, you know, and all these girls had actual tattoos of me on them. And I thought, that's so weird. Wait, in 10 years, you're going to go, what did I do? And uh, she's like, really? I said, yeah, it kind of freaks me out. I, I, actually, it really freaks me out a little bit. I, it's kind of a strange thing. Four years later, when I was full-blown in my ruin, and we were playing in San Diego, this girl showed up at a show from San Antonio. And her entire arm was sleeved with four big tattoos of me. And she said, remember me? I interviewed you. And the first thing I remembered was telling her that it freaked me out that people did that. And she had four giant tattoos of me on her. And I thought, okay, really scary. <laughs> I was like, serial killer. I don't know. It was, a little, it was a little odd and a little shocking. So. It's time to face your mirror.